Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. iPhone 7, Samsung Galaxy S7, the two probably most notable phones out there right now, the two flagship phones from the two flagship companies. Probably they have, between the two of them, the bulk of the market share, if not you know, a huge percentage of the market share. And if we look at photos shot this year for 2016, more than ever, you're going to find the percentage of photos shot, just period, that have been taken, photos that have been taken, are shot with cell phones and, more specifically, one of these two phones for this year. Now, you'll also find previous iterations of both of these phones, previous iPhones and previous Galaxies in there. But it begs the question, which is a better phone, better smartphone, better cell phone for photography? And that's not to say just which is... Um, the best camera built into the phone, but there's other factors involved here. Now, I've taken a few notes here, put down some specs, got some stats together for you, so I can uh, not miss the points I wanted to convey here. So, when we're looking at this, um, obviously, the camera itself. Now, here is where the S7 beats the iPhone on a couple of points. And first and foremost, uh, 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 this is a small point, but a faster lens, f1.7 versus f1.8 on the iPhone. So a little bit of a faster lens. That's appreciated. Um, not a huge thing because, you know, that's not, it's not like we're talking f1.4 to f1.8, but still nod to the, the S7 there. The bigger thing is the new dual pixel technology in the Samsung. And that's where it's going to smoke the iPhone in terms of uh, speed of autofocus and acquisition of autofocus for photos and um, it's really cool uh, feature because we've seen this in the Canon's dual pixel AF and now it's in a phone and also obviously the big point where we like this on the Canon's is for video so that's also one of the big points where we really like it on the phones is for video as well so in that area the camera itself there's two points where the S7 beats out the iPhone and is a better option now, uh, another point which you may not have considered about water resistance. The S7 is certified to a higher level. I'm not saying it's fully dunkable, but it is certified to a higher level. Let me see. I had that written down here. What was the... Um, here it is. IP67 rated on the iPhone 7. IP68 certified uh, on the S7. And it just basically means um, the S7 has a higher degree of waterproof ability. <laughs> I know that's not a word, but it's more waterproof than the iPhone 7 is. So there's another point uh, in, the, in favor when it comes to photography. You're going to be less likely to worry about the elements of snow or rain or sleet or hail or whatever's going on if you're shooting with an S7 versus an iPhone 7. Now, the uh, uh, S7 has a higher resolution display with a better pixel density. What's the numbers you might ask there? Uh, 1440 by 2560 on the S7 with a incredible 577 PPI pixel density. Now that uh, compares to the iPhone's 1334 by 750. Um, now it's a smaller screen on the iPhone so you don't notice it as much but the champion there is definitely the S7, the Galaxy S7 uh, there. And that's just going to translate to better usability. I mean, you don't have an EVF or an OVF on a cell phone. You are using the screen to view, focus, and snap your photo. So obviously, the better screen, the better resolution and whatnot there on the S7 is going to make a difference uh, over the iPhone 7. So that's another point. And... There's the next two are related, and that is battery life and then the speed of the charge, how fast it is to recharge. And the S7 smokes the iPhone really badly here. The S7 has a battery life of about eight hours versus the iPhones of six. So, you know, it's quite a bit more. It's two hours more. Uh, it's very significant. But not only that, when you go to recharge, it's only an hour and 15 minutes for the S7, the Samsung, in an hour and 30 minutes on the iPhone 7. So that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six points where, um, which are all pertinent to photography with a cell phone where the S7 just trounces or beats or 
I guess in the case of the Aperture, just mildly beats the iPhone 7. What do you guys think, though? Uh, iPhone 7 versus Galaxy S7. Which one do you think is a better phone for photography? Do you agree with the six points here? Uh, I mean, many of these are just facts, stats that one beats the other. But what's your thoughts? Is there a reason you might want the iPhone 7 over the S7 for photography? Um, and we're, and we're, we're talking specifically photography here, not phone as a phone in general, just the features, aspects, and characteristics of the iPhone 7 versus the S7 Galaxy, the Samsung, which makes one or the other a better phone for photography. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one you would go with. Let me know which one you think is a better phone for photography and why. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at UnderTheImage.com.